How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe and today I've got something I believe you're all gonna think is really cool and it is a clock. You're thinking, what a clock? How can that be interesting? But it is a special type of clock made of what looks like vacuum tubes if you don't know any better, but they're actually called Nixie tubes. So this is a Nixie tube clock. And unlike vacuum tubes, which are basically amplifiers, Nixie tubes are specifically used as number indicators, kind of like a predecessor to digital displays. And these were used a long time ago, but fell out of popularity in the 70s and 60s. So a lot of people have never even heard of them. So if you look up close, you can actually see the different numbered filaments inside. For every digit, zero through nine, there is an actual filament in there that is shaped like that number. And when you put electricity through that, the whole thing is filled with a low pressure gas. So the electricity heats up that filament and actually causes the filament and the gas around it to glow and causes what is known as glow discharge. So the actual light around the filament is bigger than the filament itself, which really looks pretty awesome. It is literally glowing. And because each digit is a separate filament and it's located in a slightly different place, you can actually see the numbers moving back and forth as the digits change. And unlike some vacuum tubes, which get very hot, this is actually not hot at all. It's like lukewarm at best, so you're not gonna burn yourself. It's a lot different than a regular vacuum tube. And like I mentioned before, these Nixie tubes were actually used in a lot of things before digital displays came out, such as everything from calculators, like desktop calculators, to sometimes in elevator floor number displays, to scientific instruments when they had those big tower computers that took up a whole room. They would have these Nixie tubes in there to show numbers, all sorts of stuff. And these also would have come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. These ones in this clock were actually relatively small, but there were some that were pretty big and they didn't necessarily just have numbers in them. They could have also had letters as well. So you really could have used these to display almost anything you wanted. Another interesting thing you would note about these is when the numbers are arranged, it's not in sequential order. So the first number in this one is six and one and zero are actually near the back. And that's because the filaments are arranged based on legibility. It's to minimize which numbers would be blocked so that a number in the front doesn't block all the other ones in the back when it's not lit. So it's actually thoughtfully arranged so no, no matter what number is lit, you can see it the best even if it's all the way in the back. If you've never heard of Nixie tubes before, don't blame yourself because they really have not been used in a very long while. They started becoming obsolete back in the 70s and actually there are no more new ones being manufactured, at least by the original companies. They stopped really in the 90s. It's mostly used as a revival, like a hobby right now for people who are just think they're cool and used in clocks and things like that. Although there is one company started by a guy named Dalibor Farney, and that's actually the name of his company as well, who did actually start manufacturing new Nixie tubes himself. As far as I know, he's the only person who makes new Nixie tubes at the current time. So this is definitely a niche product, and the ones made by him at least cost about $145 each, not cheap in the slightest, although he does put a lot of work into them. They're made by hand, and he did upload a video showing the process of making one of these tubes, which I thought was super interesting. I'll put the link up there if you want to check that out. You don't obviously have to buy one of the brand new ones by him. There are plenty of old Nixie tubes that have just not been sold and not been used, although they are obviously getting a little bit more expensive as the years goes on because there are no new manufacturers. So if you do end up wanting to buy a pre-made clock, that's not gonna be cheap either. It's gonna run you about $150 to 300 minimum, and that's for like a small clock. If you wanna get big tubes, it's gonna be a lot more. The one I have is one that I just bought off Amazon, although you could make your own. There's plenty of kits out there you can buy that allow you to use your own tubes, or if you have enough technical know-how, you can look up tutorials and make everything from scratch and just buy the tubes yourself. A neat thing about this one is it comes with LEDs at the bottom that are multicolored, so you can kind of customize it a little bit more, and it comes with a remote as well, so you can control it and change things like the color of the LEDs, 
how often they change or fade or stay the same color. You can also have it show the date and you can even change how it transitions between the numbers. You can have it rotate through all the numbers every time a digit changes. You can have it instantly switch. You can have them fade, lots of different customization. I guess there's not much more to say about these types of clocks. They're just really awesome and I thought you guys would like to see it. So I guess I'll put a link in the description to the one I bought off Amazon. There might not be that many available because I think all of these for the most part are hand constructed, not necessarily the tubes, but the clocks. So I don't know if they're gonna sell out, but you can at least check it out. If you guys know more about these, if you have some yourself, like with some big tubes, that would be pretty awesome. You can let us know down in the comments. If you want to keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. And if you want to subscribe, I make a few new videos a week, so it should be worth it. So thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.